Hello today, sir. How are you? Uh, welcome to Easy's. How can I help you? Hi, um, I, I wanted to order a, a steak. Come again? Oh, a, a steak. I beg your pardon? What? Steak. Oh, okay, we don't have chicken there, sir. Steak. Sir. We don't have chicken, sir. I don't want to order a snake. I would like to order a steak. What? Um, I'm sorry. Did you just call me fat? What? What? Who? Did you ever run into a situation where you're trying to communicate and you just can't get anywhere? Well, there needs to be an easier way because I'm hungry and so is my dog. Yeah, you know, you want a steak. Here's another demonstration of stairs and preventing it. Hi, I'm Jake the Easy Guy, where we research products and ideas to help the viewers make life easy and uh, most importantly, enjoyable. Wearing a mask in today's society, well, that's extremely important. But one of the issues that we run into is communication. Uh, we rely on significantly our body language, uh, precisely our facial expressions, uh, what, what our mouth is doing, uh, because we interpret that. Uh, we rely on that a lot. However, due to COVID-19, it's extremely important that we wear a mask. Uh, preventing the listener from hearing is, you know, one of the problems that we run into though. This is why it's hard to understand people from a distance especially when you're in a crowd of people and you can't hear anybody. But you gotta practice social guidelines. Uh, the question becomes is how can you com improve communication and still maintain social guidelines? Well, there's gotta be an easy way. And this is Jake the Easy Guy where we do things easy. So following these five steps can help you, backed up by Jake the Easy Guy Research, can help you save time, energy, and communicate effectively. So let's check this out. Step one, hand signals. By using hand signals, you can communicate and inform somebody of what is going on. Use your hands for numbers. Uh, the other thing is you can use your hands for sign language. Uh, Wouldn't that be harder when you have to learn another language? Well, it might be harder to learn the language but it'll be easier to communicate, plus you'll learn a new language skill to help you communicate, especially in different countries uh, where they speak sign language, which will allow you to enjoy their country a lot better. Step two is translation. Speaking in different languages and different cultures uh, makes uh, communication really, really tough, which is why you should consider using a translator on your phone, which is uh, the translator app. It's free and allows you to both communicate with the speaker and the listener uh, effectively, especially when you got a mask on and you can't like, you know, maybe it's better to use their primary language to communicate. This way they get what's being interpreted. And best part for using a translator is it's technology and it pronounces it out loud. Some languages talk on the phone. Speaking of technology, this leads to step three. Step three, that's instant text messages. You know, in these modern times, I would think it's very, uh, I think that most people would have a, uh, a cell phone or at least a flip phone or maybe a beeper. I need a steak.
part about text messaging and in a conversation is keeping social distancing. That's the best part about text messaging. It's social distancing. You can get food and you don't have to worry about communicating with somebody. And for some odd reason, you don't have a way of communicating by phone. Uh, you could always write it down. Yeah. Hmm. I thought you wanted steak. You want a bone now? Hmm. Huh. I guess writing does really work. Wow, that's easy. During times like these, it's, it's always important to remain calm and not to get mad at the listener when they don't acknowledge you. Sometimes by repeating it calmly, the listener will respect you enough to want to try to understand, which is step five, remaining calm. So you might want to watch my video on how to deal with stress, as it can definitely help you out. Still a problem, you can use a special mask with a see-through lens uh, that will allow the spectator or the listener to see your mouth move uh, when you're talking. Uh, however, these masks do fog up, but the listener can still see your lips move, which can help them explain uh, what it is that you're talking about, such as... I'd like to order a steak today. Steak. Oh, well, thank you. You know, we do rely on facial expressions to explain a lot and to definitely help us interpret uh, what their emotions are and, and uh, what it is that they're feeling. So this might be a very, very good, effective approach. And also, if fog is an issue, you can always use an anti-fog spray or you can use some anti-fog wipes. They work well as well. Now, if you can follow these steps, such as hand signals, translating in a primary language, text messaging, writing it down, uh, remaining calm, or using a special mask, you should be able to improve your communication uh, more effectively, but more importantly, easy, so that you can enjoy your life and enjoy that steak that you wanted to eat. Wow, now that's easy. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more easy tips to make your life easy so that you can ultimately enjoy life, like going to DC or maybe just watching your favorite artist.